Welcome to Previews Reviews, coming to you from Stadium Comics, located in Shoppers World Mall in beautiful Brampton, Ontario. Here are your hosts, Kevin Hickey and Ricky Lima. Hey everybody, and welcome to this episode of Previews Reviews, which takes a look at collectibles, toys, statues, action figures, all other manner of cool things coming into the stores uh, starting in July 2013. I'm Kevin Hickey. And I'm Ricky Lima. And Ricky, why don't you tell everybody out there where this fine program, with an E on the end of it, is coming to them from. Watch, learn, Kevin. We're coming from Brampton, Ontario, Canada. The heart of the universe, the source of all things. The number one in a collectible first issue. The, uh, this is tough. <laughs> the microphone on top of this camera from which you are hearing uh, my voice. And the photons which are coming from these lights. The fluorescent lighting above us? Yeah. Okay. Acceptable. Previews is the magazine that most comic shops order all of their pop culture goodies out of. And uh, we're going to be going over some of those items today. Some of the highlights from this book. But there's literally thousands and thousands of products in here. So head into your local comic shop and ask them if you can flip through the pages. Or even take one home and study it. Know it buy from it. Let's get it started with Batman Arkham City Solomon Grundy Deluxe Action Figure. Solomon Grundy was born on a Monday but this insanely detailed oversized action figure based on his... <laughs> what? <laughs> this is the stupidest thing in the world. That's his thing. Yeah, Solomon I know. Grundy born on... Solomon Grundy was born on a Monday but this insanely detailed <laughs> oversized action figure based on his appearance in the best-selling critically acclaimed <laughs> Based on its appearance in the best-selling critically acclaimed video game Batman Arkham City, is perfect for display any day of the week. <laughs> Figure right. measurement is over 13 inches tall, features removable heart and chest. That copywriter had a field day writing that. He's like, I can be so clever, I'm going to put a Monday in any day. <laughs> what? Yeah. If nobody knew, they'd be like... Why it was the matter if he was born on one day? Do you think most people who played Arkham City, does, does he say that in the game? Does uh, he recite his, I don't know. his little poem in the Arkham City game? I haven't played it. I think so. so. I can't remember, but most likely. So what's his character like in Arkham City? Is he in it for like two seconds and he's gone? Or yeah, he pretty he play... much, you fall into a pit and you like fight him. Um, I think you, you're you supposed to fight Joker, but then he shows up. But that might be Clayface. I can't remember. But yeah, he, he's in it for like five seconds. You right. kill him, and it's like, oh, it's Cool. He actually you, might be the last boss. I you can't. kill him by ripping out his heart? And uh, why do you kill him? Batman's not supposed to kill anybody. In video game terms, killing means defeating. Okay. So, I mean... It's like Mario. He kills Goombas. Like, does like, Mega Man kill Dr. Wily? No. He no, rests. because him. he comes back, right? That's right, yeah. He rests. Him. Exactly. I'm sorry. But when you're talking about it, you're like, yeah, I just killed Dr. Wily. But just you kill did. that guy. <laughs> yeah, but you did what if, what if, what if, like, we took video game logic and transposed it into real life, right. and, you know, you're reading the newspaper, and some guy got, like, punched in the face, but they don't refer to it as being knocked yeah. out or punched in the face. Yeah, They're just like, yeah, uh, Ricky was killed yesterday <laughs> by some guy. You could get killed over and over and over again. Sweet. Okay. It would also be very confusing. But this figure has things that you can remove from it. Yeah. It, like, what? how does that play into the game? I can't remember. I think he pulled out his heart. I don't know. <laughs> well, Dude, this game him. came out like three years ago. What is this? Well, they're still putting out figures that are eighty nine ninety five and ship in September 2013. September, really? Yeah. Oh, man. That's early for this. I guess. We got some stuff in here that ships in like October, so. Oh, man. Something I removed from this list because it ships in December. Wow. Yeah. The next one is DC Cover Girls Supergirl. Designed by Stanley Archer Lau, sculpted by Jack Matthews. The Girl of Steel rockets out of the pages of her monthly comic book series and into your home with this breathtaking statue designed by artist Stanley Ar Archer Lau. Measures approximately 10 inches tall. Rockets out of the pages of her comic and dare I say, into our hearts. So this is a cool statue. It's a cover girl statue. They're all, uh, they're all awesome. They all look great. Yeah, but they're uh, cha-ching. Well, a little bit on the expensive side. They're ninety nine ninety five, but it's uh, nice. you know it's a porcelain statue. It's not any of this vi vinyl stuff. It's ninety nine ninety five. It ships in September two thousand thirteen, and uh, 
you know, I don't think we have to say anything more, more about it other than it's it's speaks for itself. Really cool yeah. and awesome. All right, up next we've got some Batman related items. Up first is the Greg Capullo Joker black and white statue. Fan favorite artist Greg Capullo's frightening rendition of the Clown Prince of Crime from the best selling Batman Death of the Family storyline is now the newest edition in the best selling line of statues, spotlighting the Dark Knight and his rogues gallery of villains. This is seventy nine ninety five. Ships in October, and there's also a Greg Capullo Batman, which you can pair it up with, also for $79.95. And then for those of you who are on a little bit more of a budget, we've got the Joker action figure from DC. The DC Comics New 52 look of Batman's arch nemesis, the Joker perfectly captured with his action figure, based on the designs from the Death of the Family story. This also ships in October, and this will be $24.95. That's not bad. Yeah. Pretty good price. Yeah, and, and the Justice League line of action figures were pretty cool. They were very well detailed. Yeah. and Yeah, thank you, DC. Yeah. <laughs> the black and white statues, uh, you know, are kind of cool in their own way. I agree, yeah. I really like a lot of the, the black and white stuff that they put out. I'd For sure. like to have more of it, but uh, a lot of them are rare and you can't get them anymore, so. Sucks. It's, an inv it's more of an investment to get the black and white statue, I think. If you're looking for yeah. a return on your investment... You want to go with the statue but the action figure is cool all around man is the action figure black and white no it's in full color that's cool yeah and he's wearing like the joe's garage outfit yeah. and did they like face did they ever explain that joe's garage thing in the book joe man joker <laughs> oh yeah joker I, I didn't know that oh man I'm also going to take the next one because it's really quick. It is the Saga Lion Cat t-shirt. There's not much uh, else to say about it other than it's an awesome uh, t-shirt featuring one of my favorite characters from the Saga comic, Lion Cat, mm -hmm. illustrated by Fiona Staples. It comes in black or white. That's right. It comes in women's sizes and men's sizes. I'm super excited, and I think a lot of people are excited after Felicia Day wore a Lion Cat. Oh, she did? Yeah, she um, wore it on like TV. I think it was like Supernatural, a show. Oh, like on an actual uh, yeah. drama series, yeah. not on exactly. the guild or anything. <laughs> yeah. So she wore a Lion Cat t-shirt. It's not this one, but she, she wore it. So a lot of people are like, oh, what's that? And they found out Real Saga and everything. So I'm super excited. But um, I think the design of this t-shirt is a little weak. It's just his head, and you're like, oh, okay, this is Lion. And you're like, all right. Well, what do you want it to be? What? You want it to be like a Tiger Ricky shirt? No, no, no. What I'm excited for is, sure, is, is like... Um, one of these like remix sites that, that do stuff like that, like Shirt Punch and T Fury and stuff. I'm excited to see what they do with Lion Cat because they always have like really cool. But ideas. do you think Saga yeah. has reached a level of popularity enough that they'd be able to to make a design based on it and and make money off of it at ten dollars a shirt? I don't know. They have some pretty obscure stuff sometimes on shirts like shows like Shirt Punch and stuff. Sometimes like what is that? And uh, those seem yeah. to sell. So I mean, I guess we'll see. Speaking of cats, we have the Catwoman Artifact statue. Uh, stealing the limelight in her skin-tight leather jumpsuit, really, and carrying her trademark whip and claws, Catwoman stands in a relaxed pose, really, yet is light on her feet, ready to either fight or flight as, a situa as the situation requires. Selena Kyle's first appearance in the Artifacts Plus lineup captures her classic look perfectly. The details on Catwoman are exceptional, from the intricate folds and seams of her costume to the small touches like the zipper, boot buckles, whip, and claw. Kotobukiya's unique take on Catwoman features a reflective sheen on her black cat suit, with her fully painted features visible through her goggles. All right, cool. I know you took issue with some of the uh, descriptions there, but <laughs> I think it's appropriate considering the figure that we're looking at. Uh, yes. It's the follow-up to the Kotobukiya, extremely popular so far, because only about half yeah. of it's been released, their Justice League Artifact Statue series, so it looks like they're moving on to the villain side of things. Yeah. Or the, you know, uh, I guess, the anti-hero <laughs> side of things. That's right. Uh, okay, so can I, can I say something? I'm putting it sure. down right now. This is going to be trademarked. Can we have a DC... Heroes or even Marvel uh, super superhero females slumber party edition where they're just wearing pajamas and their hairs up and they got like uh, like face masks on and stuff and like super like non sexy. Can we do this? 
Can we have this? You can make anything happen. I would man. buy the Slumber Party. Like, are you saying as a comic, or as a as video a, game? No, as a statue. These statues. Oh, oh okay. A sl DC superhero Slumber Party. Oh, like pajamas and stuff. Yes. Okay. That'd be awesome. I'm doing it. And then, like, you could have. You could set up a like a little diorama yeah. with them having a slumber party, and then you could have like Batman being all creepy and like looking <laughs> through the window. Sure, yeah. He's a bit okay. of a creeper. Look, DC, Dan Didio, give me a ring. We'll get this, we'll get this happen. This figure is going to be forty four ninety nine, which is in line with the pricing for most of the other. It's not bad. Figures, not bad. And uh, it looks great. Looks awesome. And I think people that have been buying the Justice League set, this is the natural uh this is the next natural progression for them is to buy these uh figures whether they be villains or anti-heroes or and this comes out in october doesn't it this comes out in october mm. yeah it's imported so that's true you can be forgiven in this <laughs> case speaking of imported and speaking of dc comics and speaking of cats <laughs> we've got man of steel Kotobukiya's Man of Steel statue captures the energy and power of the film's hero in a fantastic new presentation. Superman stands in a powerful pose straight out of the movie's trailers, half crouching with his arms curled and fists clenched. This Kry the Kryptonian is coiled and ready to spring into action, muscles taut beneath his suit, and what a suit it is! <laughs> Expertly recreated for the statue, the hero's suit is intricately sculpted to capture all the subtle textures as well as the bold elements like the chest logo boots, and piping effects. Equally impressive is the lifelike Henry Cavill as Superman head sculpt, powerful, serious, and otherworldly. Last but not least, the statue debuts a Kotobukiya first, a posable cape that can be shaped and molded into nearly any position, allowing for dynamic personalization of your display. That's pretty cool. That's cool. Yeah. The cape? I wonder what they made that out of. If it's like wire, or if it's like a like a Play moldable plastic Play-Doh? Play yeah. It's just a piece of paper. <laughs> like, you want it to be crumpled up and crumple it up. <laughs> you can never get it back. You never get it back. Um, so, I guess it's fair to say that the summer of Superman is nearly upon us. Yeah, everything's going to be Superman. People are coming into our store looking for Superman t-shirts. Yeah. People are excited about the Superman Free Comic Book Day book. People are uh, really stoked for Superman Unchained. Stoked. Adults are going to be running around in capes by the fall. I, I'm predicting it right now. Yeah. There's going to be adults running around in capes. I, yeah, I'm okay with that. I'd yeah. like to see that. I think, you know, the cape needs to be more prominent in our society. I had a friend in university who'd wear a cape, like, legit. Yeah? Uh, and what kind of cape was it? it was, like it a was black like, cape? Yeah, it was like... It was like was a, he a goth guy? No, no, it was like a full body thing. Like, it, 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 like you know, it was really cool. And, like, he got, like, really weird stares. And I remember he's in my class. I'm like, man, that guy's the coolest. And then I be became friends with him. And he was the coolest. So oh, I thought you were going to say that things got really weird. No, no. He's, like, like wicked. Like, trying to, like, wrap his cape no, around you. He's, like, a genius. That's awesome, man. Yeah, man. Was, so. it, was it, like, did the cape have a different color liner? I think it was red. I can't remember. But so he was, like, a magician. I, I don't Whenever know. Whenever I, I think, remember. like, black cape with red liner, I think magician. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Tuxedo so, mask. Yeah. The new trailer looks awesome. The original trailer was awesome. This film is going to be pretty much the best movie ever. Uh, there's no doubt about it in my mind. <laughs> pretty much. And this statue is awesome. It looks so much like uh, Henry Cavill as Superman. Uh, they really did a good job with capturing uh, all the qualities of the movie, the, the Man of Steel Superman. And uh, I might pick this one up. Who knows? The movie is as good as I think it's going to be. I may want this figure, this statue. You say that now, but you're lying. To it's me. $119.99, and this will ship in September 2013. Whoa, man. But you need to get your orders in now. While you're waiting for the statue to come up, you need to freshen up. And the best way to freshen up is through the Sonic Screwdriver Toothbrush. You'd think that if you had the ability to travel all of time and space, you wouldn't get bored. But even Time Lords have periods where there's nothing to do in the space-time vortex. The Doctor's boredom results in the Sonic Screwdriver Toothbrush. It's a little more sonic than your average toothbrush, but not as sonic as one of those fancy schmancy toothbrushes. This vibrating toothbrush will clean your pearly whites after you dirty them while eating a whole box of jammy dodgers. 
Wait, what? Yeah, dude. <laughs> There's even a spare brush head so that you can share your toothbrush with a friend. How considerate. Right? I like how, uh, I like how this company is not overselling what its toothbrush can do. They're basically like, yeah, it's, it's a little bit more sonic than your average manually operated toothbrush. But let's be honest, it's not as good as yeah. those other toothbrushes it's like, that are out there. It's like those kid toothbrushes that just like barely vibrate. But they're totally upfront about it. They're like, it's, cool. it's not, it's not as cool. Or it's not as, it's not as effective. Well, I mean, it's only like what twenty, thirty bucks, so can't go wrong. Yeah, it's right? gonna be about twenty, thirty bucks. It's really cool. Any Doctor Who fan should have this toothbrush. Um, doesn't open doors, but but it opens dates because your teeth is so good. <laughs> okay, yeah, there chicks you go. Love, chicks love good teeth. They man. do love good teeth, and, which is why dudes. I get so many dates. <laughs> and dudes, what? And dudes like good teeth on chicks. So I mean. Brush I think teeth. everybody likes good teeth that's, on everybody. That's true. If you can have any device from any movie or television show or mm -hmm. or uh, comic book or you know uh, classic literature turned into a toothbrush, what do you think you'd choose? Anything turned into a toothbrush? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe like, jeez. Uh, hmm. Uh, maybe like a wand from Harry, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Yeah. That was too easy of an answer. Maybe. Uh, the football from Charlie Brown. <laughs> you get your teeth up, like brushed really quickly, <laughs> right? Sure, Good answer. Thank you. All right. Moving on. Also, don't make a gif of me doing this <laughs> because that'd be terrible. Finally, Ricky, we have the Marvel Comics Hulk Classic Avengers Fine Art Statue. This is also from Kotobukiya. The massive Hulk leaps straight off the pages of Avengers Comics and into our hearts. <laughs> in all of his green-skinned glory, this powerfully built hero stands on cracked and broken terrain, flexing his enormous muscles as he prepares to charge once more into battle against those who would threaten the Earth. Hulk has a wide-legged stance, balancing on his tree-trunk-like legs while he leans forward and flexes one arm in front of him and one behind. Bruce Banner's alter ego is all muscle, with rippling sinews and incredibly detailed anatomy including veins, toe and fingernails, and more under and more. Whoa. Under his subtly accented green hued skin. He even wears his iconic purple pants, the jorts, if you will. <laughs> incredibly sculpted with belt loops, seams, creases, and of course, the shredded remains at his knees. Hulk also sports a fierce facial sculpt that captures the character's never ending rage, completing the look of what's destined to become the Hulk statue for collectors and comic book fans. Alike. Nice. <laughs> How realistic are these jorts? Are they uh, posable like Superman's cape? No, the jorts mm. are stationary and, uh, yeah, they're not posable. The but they may be removable. I mean, they're talking about detailed anatomy and uh, more underneath. <laughs> Maybe you could, like, take off his skin. Maybe that's a thing. Maybe. Right, that'd be, you can Maybe. remove his heart like Simon Grundy. So this statue looks pretty awesome. Yeah, it's super detailed. Super detailed. It's huge. Price tag on it's huge too, though. It's two hundred and thirty nine ninety nine, mm -hmm. and it will ship in October. But it will also uh, be the perfect accompaniment for all the other Avengers classic statues that have been offered. Um, there's a whole line of them, all very expensive. Yeah. So, um, I feel like companies love making the Hulk because they can make him huge and charge so much, and people are like, yeah, that makes sense, and then. They'll buy yeah, it and, and they release like, the other like less expensive figures first. Yeah, and, you know, lull people into to buying it, and then all of a sudden they're like, "Oh my God, the Hulk's a hundred dollars more." Well, gotta have the set. Exactly. Anyway, that's it for the highlights of the collectibles out of this month's previews magazine. You want to be sure to join us next time when we take a look at stuff coming out in August, two thousand and thirteen. Fan Expo. That's like the eighth month of the year. It's like second Christmas. No, third Christmas. Because free comic book day is first days. Christmas. Yeah, that's right. Then you have Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Then that's you have right. the month of August. Yeah, that's right. All right, everybody, take care, and we'll see you all next time.